How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. Bit of double IPA time. In the form of Nothing Gold from Bissell Brothers Brewing. Um, yeah, it's an 8.2% double IPA. And um, I've had this before, but I don't remember having it. I know I've had it. I think I had it when I was up there in Portland um, not too long ago. But at the same time, I think I've had it a couple times since. I could be wrong. We're going to dive into it. This can comes courtesy of my boy Max. He was up that way for work, and he sent me off beers because he's awesome. So here we go. I'm a big Bissell fan. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I dig what they do. Um, the, the the couple times I've visited the tap room, I've had great times, great beers. Love their hazies. Um, their farmhouse stuff's coming along. Their stouts, Imperial Barrel Age stuff. Barrel Age stuff hasn't really done me all that proper, but it's a very limited sample size. So hopefully... I get to try a little bit more of those. Label-wise, it's cool. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, purple and gold. Lakers, baby. And uh, it's, uh, you know, boxes. What are you going to do? <laughs> and this beer looks like a new school double IPA hazy. Big, huge, thick, pinky finger, creamy head. Let's see what the nose has. Man, that's just peach. Peach? That's stone fruit juice right there. Stone fruit juice with... And that's pretty much it. There's a soft, grassy vibe to the hops. A little bit of green grass. But really, it's that peach. That peach is just coming through in gobs. Huge. Kind of almost getting to the point where it's like a jammy marmalade kind of peachiness. I dig it. And that soft grass. That grass gets bigger in the taste. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a, a happy camper. Let's dive in. Cheers. Okay. Doesn't get too grassy. It was a little bit elevated you know, I was giving you, but not that big. That peach thing is there, but it suffers from a little bit of kind of like a carbonic acid. There's a little bit of bitterness, I believe, that's coming from the carbonic acid in combination with that base bitterness of the hops that kind of beats down, brings down that kind of big peach vibe. It was going to go into kind of more of a peach ring thing as opposed to kind of peach marmalade, but it's, it's still peachy. That's the leader in your clubhouse. A little bit of soft dab of kind of sweet and citrus in there. Um, that a little bit of green grassiness elevated from what the nose would give you. It comes off a little bit bigger because you think it's associated with that bitterness, but I think it's a combination of hops and uh, carbonic acid. And it's nice. It's drinkable. It actually has a little bit of heat to it too. So 8.2%. You wouldn't think you'd get that, but you are. It's nice. I like it. It doesn't blow me away. It's a nice new school hazy. It's impactful. It's big. It kind of it, it gets the job done. A little bit utilitarian, if you will. I like the way that the flavors are coming. You knock out that little bit of heat, a little bit of what I perceive as carbonic acid. I think you have a home run, but that kind of ekes it, keeps it from getting that upper echelon. So let's talk about it. Is this one of the better double IPAs I've had as of late? It's eking in the conversation. It's definitely not up there. Uh, value availability, Bissell. I don't think the prices are that bad, but it's pretty much brewery only for their kind of non, uh, once you get outside of a uh, substance, and I think there's one other one that kind of makes it to market, um, it's pretty much brewery only, and leave you with, if you like what we like this beer, if you like New School Hazies, and you like that kind of Vermont thing going on, like this is, reminds me a little bit of a foam kind of thing going on, a little bit of dancing gnome, if you will, they get heavily in that bittering kind of carbonic acid thing, it, it, some people just don't really mind it at all, it doesn't really come off to them, if you like new school hazies and that carbonic thing does not affect you at all whatsoever this is probably going to be a home run status but for me it keeps it from getting towards the top but it's still a really damn tasty beer so there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff beer massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of bissell right now and hopefully see you next time cheers